Welcome back to Stagiaire. Today we have Bernardo with us from Tool per Startup, and he's going to explain to us what he does and why he started. Hello, everybody. Uh, Tool per Startup is a sort of uh, an, a blog, but it's a typical one because it's uh, actually is a container of what I think are the best tools for small businesses. Tool, the word tool means uh, software uh, that helps small businesses like startups, freelancers, local activities, shops, to improve the performance of their business and save time and money. The idea behind it was to provide a quick guide uh, to practice immediately uh, for those who have need to activities in their businesses. Uh, these needs can be varied and diverse from email marketing to video creation, from customer management to team organization, as you like. And the approach that I always kept when I launched the blog, uh, that I can still have now is that transparency. Uh, what that is mean, what that uh, I mean is uh, uh, no, no many ADVs, no many referral links, no many uh, marketing uh, writing, no marketing posts. Uh, so every tool that is on my blog is checked, tested, and tested, and tested several times, and then chosen. Uh, in the blog issue, you, you, you could find some little advertising because it, 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 I need it. I need it to, to keep it online. And some affiliate links, but first comes the quality of the tool and then only after monetization and earnings. Absolutely. Uh, well, we tested actually your your blog and we are super <laughs> excited about it because you post every time something super exciting and super e useful for, for, for startups. So thank you so much for, for doing this job for us. And uh, well, let's talk a little bit more about interns. So uh, what about interns? Do you, do you hire interns? Do you work with them? Okay, no, no, not yet, not yet. Not take interns, uh, hire interns in the usual way. Uh, I don't offer a structured internship path. However, I do offer a sort of block school where the intern can learn some kinds of web copywriting, CEO, online brand positioning and something like that. That's really interesting. Thank you so much. And okay, so um, did you have a, any experience with um, interns from abroad? No, 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 no not yet, because um, all my posts are uh, written in Italian. So I need people who uh, write uh, better in Italian, not in English or in other languages. So I prefer Italian people. But if there are some people or students that want to uh, try to uh, write in Italian in an Italian blog, I'm open to them. Okay, okay. So what do you think about working with interns? Maybe you didn't try yet, but will you be open to do that in the future? Do you think that they can afford something to your company and what do you think they can actually uh, give you as a, as a company, as a, as a blog, as a, as a startup? Yes, I, I, I was an intern <laughs> some time <Okay>. ago. <laughs> so I think, so I think it's, uh, it's very useful for uh, people who want to learn, but also for companies because they give uh, f freshness a uh, fresh and a new approach to things. When, when we, we do a, a job, like digital jobs, you, um, we, we, are, we, are, uh, we, we remain on our ideas, on our 
uh, structure on our thoughts and we need freshness. Interest could give freshness, could give uh, also some new ways, new point of views of things, of problems and can resolve problems like uh, in a new way. Absolutely, absolutely. So do you think that working with uh, someone that comes pr probably from a different country or that has a, like a different way of see, see things and doing things, it could afford something to your company as well? And also, uh, which kind of background are you looking for if you would hire in the future an intern? Sure, they, 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 they could give some, 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 a, a new way, uh, some ideas, some stuff, and some things more. But I, I think there are two different approaches about backgrounds. One is preferring technical skills. When you write and you work in a digital online or digital products or services, uh, the other is to count on humanistic skills. I, I, I have to admit it; I prefer the second one because technical soft skills, skills uh, soft skills, yes. Because the second one, because technical um, skills could be learned uh, in, in other ways. Uh, watching uh, webinars, watching attending courses, watching YouTube videos, uh, and something like that. The other one is like talent, uh, the ability to change text, to adapt it to the situation, uh, writing the uh, keywords, and be creative on images and colors, or something like that, I think. Absolutely, absolutely. So, um, if uh, any interns who will be uh, really interested in working for you, they could be sending you their CV resume. And if yes, could you give us your email? Yes, sure. Uh, my email is bernardo at toolperstartup.com. Maybe they can find it on the description. I, Absolutely. I, I, yes. I, I, I think so. Yes, we will be leaving everything on the description box and all the contacts to contact Bernardo, obviously. And also, guys, just remember that Bernardo is looking for someone that is actually uh, able to write in Italian. Um, what else would you like to tell us? I mean, why you started this, this blog? Uh, tell us a little bit more about the blog, about what you do day, you know, in a daily basis, about your, yourself and, and your company. Because I'm, I'm super interested in why you started uh, I, I'm start from for I needed. I, I I need to find a fast way in a fast way some software because startups and small businesses asked me, Bernardo, could you find me a good software that uh, for making videos, for example, that it's free? Uh, free is the magic word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with with or, or or with a free plan. And so I, 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 I thought I, I need a platform to find these tools, but not only a list of tools. Uh, I need they be uh, searched, tested, validated from someone. Uh, so I put online uh, the blog in 2015. So oh, five wow. years old. It's five years old, but and um, now now I I have inside almost uh, five hundred tools. Some of them are closed because they were startups, and so they are closed or they are not working now. Now, but if you Want as a student or an employee or a small business, uh, you you could find some I think interesting tools for your business. Um, I have also there is a web page on my blog uh, where you can find some deals, so deals uh, lifetime deals. You can find uh, software uh, that are offered with a strong discount uh, for the entire life. Oh, that's great! That's really and, great. And if you um, if you want to check new tools every day, 
or every two, three days. You can check our Telegram channel with uh, 3,000 members. And every two, three days, there, there is a new tool checked, uh, tested, <laughs> verified. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so for how long do you test? the tools so do you have like i imagine a team of people that test the tool or you to you test it yourself okay i want to i want to test by myself but wow. uh, there are there are several steps first step is to search for tools in repository all around the world and then put it in a database in a db uh, with a sort of rating, star rating, five star rating. The 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 best the best ones I register on it and test it for one or two days, and try to test all the features, not only one, all the features when it's possible, and 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 then I I ask the the company of the tool to have uh, maybe a partnership with us or it's not necess necessary. I, maybe I, if, if I want, if I like it, I write down a post and publish online. That's great. Okay, so last question for you. What's your favorite tool at the moment? <laughs> My favorite tool at the moment is, its name is Octoboard. You can you can create your uh, personal uh, analytics dashboard in your computer. You can you can connect, integrate some extra services. For example, Twitter, social media, Facebook, or Mailchimp, or uh, email marketing softwares, and you can build, create your personal dashboard. For example, I want to check uh, how's going my digital presence on social media. I put a widget with Twitter followers, a widget with Facebook fans, a widget with Instagram followers, a uh, widget with uh, LinkedIn followers, all together in one wow. screen. And you can share it with a link. So in real time, if you're director of your president want to check your analytics in real time, maybe on Saturday in the night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, he, he is able to do it. And, and then, and, and then you can also, you can uh, download it uh, in PDF and send it to everybody. Okay. My favorite is Canva forever. <laughs> I'm a big Canva fan. <laughs> there I are know, many competitors. Is. Many yeah, competitors. There are many, many, many. Uh, I saw that you just posted the lifetime um, uh, something. Uh, some someone that is very similar to Canva, correct? On on your yes, Telegram, I correct. just saw it a couple of days ago. But I'm a Canva fan. I know how to use it, and I'm I'm super happy with that. <laughs> I don't know if I want to change it. <laughs> you're you're my favorite favorite reader. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. Number one fan. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much, guys, for watching this uh, interview. If you would like to contact Bernardo, as I told you, we will be leaving all the, de uh, the de details down below in the description box. And see you soon. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>